begin by thanking um, everybody in this room, especially Rick Mays, for his support and everybody outside of this room that makes this um, experience possible. Definitely would not have been able to do this without the support of the Civic Fellowship, so I'm very grateful for that. Um, yes, I interned at Connecting Worlds Abroad in Sevilla, Spain. Um, it's an organization that connects students with various nonprofit organizations and medical um, facilities. And so I was actually interning with three different organizations. Um, one nonprofit called Save the Children that is specifically working to fight um, childhood poverty in Sevilla's lowest income neighborhoods. Um, another organization called ONCE, the Organización Nacional de Ciegos Españoles, um, that specifically supports uh, blind people in Spain and people with serious visual impairments. And then I was also interning um, in a hospital, shadowing a gynecologist there, um, and kind of learning how their system works for people with different um, socioeconomic statuses. And so, um, throughout all these experiences, I had a lot of aha moments of just things I had never considered um, before working with vulnerable populations in a different country. Uh, but I would say one of the most incredible uh, moments that I had that was very um, enlightening for me was actually towards the very end of my internship. In June, Spain, Andalusia held their like parliament elections um, for that specific autonomous community where they were electing the officials that were going to be serving the next term. Um, and the woman that I was partnered with, with ONCE, uh, used to work in the healthcare system, supplying ambulances when they were going out to do their work. And she, um, we had a really interesting conversation just about how she felt about how those elections uh, were going and the people that were elected and what the future of that was going to look like for various sources of public funding, um, for medical resources, education resources, all these kinds of things for vulnerable populations in this part of Spain, um, looking at women and low-income children and recent immigrants from Northern Africa. Um, and she felt a lot of uh, frustration and also, I think, a bit of fear about what that was going to look like um, in Spain just based on what the people who were going to be in power were going to decide to do. Um, and it was in that moment that I think I felt such a strong passion for the work that nonprofits do, kind of holding down that rock and standing steady while political forces kind of come and go um, and, and can affect people in different ways um, as they change. And so I think for me, that has definitely solidified my interest in the nonprofit world, um, looking into a career, uh, certainly in public service, and um, also supporting vulnerable populations, such as women and low-income children um, and families, and also immigrants from all different places in the world that are trying to find their home. So thank you.